Hi everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. I'm going to show you how to make story bots out of gum paste. Now, if you have Netflix and toddlers, you're probably familiar with these guys. So we're going to get right into it. And we're going to make Bing, the yellow guy first. We're just going to make his body. So take your yellow gum paste, roll it out, cut it in half, and make a hamburger bun. I used a little piece in the middle there, you see, to hold it open. And let him, put them aside, okay? Now we're going to get into Bang, the blue one. And even though he looks very much like a certain shape and everything, especially how I'm rolling him out here, we're going to ignore that. And we're going to make him long and thin and rounded at the top, but not too thin. And then we're going to cut the top of it right off, chop, just like that. I'm going to ram him through with a lollipop stick because when he's long and, you know, when the characters are long like that, they'll slouch. The gum paste will kind of slouch and, and get mushy at the bottom and it's no good. It kind of pooches out. And that little cap there, I left a piece sticking out of the lollipop stick. So when I set him on top, it holds it open like he's talking. So there you go. You need support and you need him talking. The purple one is Bo and he is nice and chubby, but the same pretty much as the others. You're just going to cut off the top. You know, I'm pinching the edge to make it nice and sharp so it's not so rounded. Make sure he doesn't lose his shape. This one's going to get a lollipop stick too, shoved down into it. And the same thing with the cap. I pinch the edge off, leave the top sticking up a little bit. So when you put the cap on, it stands up to the side. And it looks now like our little story bot is talking or emoting or something. There you go. Okay, the red one is Boop. Same idea as the other two, except he's very short and fat. He's probably as wide around as the purple one. And he's, I guess, the angry one. Maybe that's why he's red. I pinch the edges off. But when I put him back together, I'm leaving his mouth closed. He's angry, so he's kind of pouting. So, yeah, there you go. That's why his mouth is shut. It has to be nice and straight. He can't be very happy. Uh, okay, so put him aside. All right, now we're getting to the green one. Our green one is named Beep. And he's pretty much in between the purple and the yellow. So he's as thick as the yellow, but, you know, taller the height is probably between the two. He's going to get a lollipop stick also because better safe than sorry. Same idea as before. Put the little cap on so it sticks off. And these are going to be the eyes, that little quick flash you saw there. Two white balls, little pieces of black that I rolled out nice and thin and used a cutter. The pupils are going to take up maybe half of the eyes. These are going to be um, Bing, or sorry, Bang's eyes, the blue one. He's kind of sleepy looking, so I rolled out some blue, the same color as his body, nice and thin, cut out a circle, cut off the edge, and wrap it around the eyes so it looks like his eyelids are kind of closed, and then using water, I attach him so he's got kind of a sleepy thing going. There he is. All right. He's going to have arms that are orange, so I'm rolling out the orange, but then I'm going to realize I forgot something, so we're going to go back to him. All right. I forgot to put his little trap door on his body because these guys are supposed to be robots, so these are the little doors, I guess, that open to his mechanics, I, 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 I'm assuming. So you make a rectangle, put a line down the center, and you've got it. That's it. It's nice and easy. So this part is pretty good. Okay, back to the arms. Uh, they are orange, like I said, really nice and thin. They're not very long. They start probably halfway down his body and go almost to the floor. So just stick one on either side with a little water. I added two little brown wheels, used circle cutter, using my straw to make a little wheel imprint. And there you go. Okay, now we're back to our green one. Our green guy is Beep, putting a little trap door on his body. And there's a little line down the center, just like the other ones that we do we've done so far. I'm going to give this one orange arms as well. Um, you're going to find two of them have orange arms, two have dark blue, and only one is going to have light blue. So they're, they're pretty easy too. His eyes are big. He's got big pupils in them. And they're not exactly lined up straight. As you can see, they're a little crooked, and so is his mouth. So I'm just using my knife blade to kind of press it back into shape. This gray I'm pinching here is going to be his little pincher claws. And there you go. Just a little V on each hand. And the brown for his wheels. And yes, I know my fingers are all stained up because I mixed all the colors as I was using them for this video. So yeah, yeah, I didn't have a chance to really scrub the heck out of them to get all those stains off yet. But there you go. Okay. Only thing really left to do for this guy is put his eyebrows on. It's just a thick rectangle of green. I cut him a big thick wedge uh, for each one. And I'm setting them on top of the eyes, not the head. So that they hover a little bit better because for some reason they hover in the cartoon like magic. And I can't do that because I have no magic powers, even though that would be freaking amazing. All right, making more eyes here. 
The yellow one is going to have the big round one with the little pupils and our angry grumpy red one has one eye, one circle with black in the center. I cut it in half to make two half grouchy looking eyes and he has one big brown unibrow. So I'm doing him next. There you go. There's this one single unibrow. And you're going to just lay it across the top where you have that flat edge from the eyes. Make sure you don't have a little droopage. And there you go. He looks nice and cranky. Our yellow guy, like I said, he's got kind of googly eyes. They're off-centered. They are cattywampus, if you will. My son taught me that word. <laughs> he was very proud. And he has orange eyebrows. I don't know why they're not yellow like his body, but they're not. And so, again, sitting on top of his eyes, put the little trap door in his belly using my knife blade very carefully because he's got a teeny tiny little body. And there you go. So make sure it's nice and deep. Put two little brown wheels on him just like the other guys. And I know that in the cartoon they have these little stick legs that they walk around on with their little wheels. I can't do that. So, yeah, I, I took a little shortcut and I'm putting them on the sides of their body like that. It makes them a little shorter, but it doesn't really take too much away from the look. It's still very much a stick bot, so I think you can get away with it, too. I don't think any children are going to complain. His little pincher claws and his little dark blue arms finish him off, and he's actually good to go now. There you go. We're going back to our red guy. Our red guy, Boop, he's very angry. So I'm going to draw him with his arms crossed in front of him, kind of like he's having a huff. So I'm folding them just over top of each other, the little gray pincher on each end, just like I've been mentioning. Uh, his arm's a little high, so I'm going to press it down because it's kind of covering his mouth, and I don't want that to happen. Now he's done. So it doesn't take much to make these guys. Our last guy, our purple guy, Bo, is the only one with a different color arms. They're light blue. His eyes are also very teeny tiny compared to the rest of the guys. So put them small, put them kind of next to each other. Purple eyebrows for this one, little wheels, little trap door on his tummy that's very small and very low down too on his body. So be aware of that. There are his little light blue arms. I'm just going to have them curved up so they're kind of meeting in the center. And I'm going to add his little pinchers in a second here. There's one in there already. Add the second little gray pincher. And now you've got Bo all done. And there you go. Doesn't he look cute? Yeah. So these guys are easy. They're, they're nothing difficult. And they're very cute. They're very colorful. And they will make any kid very happy. So there you go. All right. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I hope you will like and subscribe. That would be amazing. Check out my other videos. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.